Hello, my name is Bradley. Today I just want to talk to you a little bit about engine component location, uh, a little bit about what they do. Uh, here in front of me today I have a Detroit engine. Uh, just want to talk to you a little bit about first and foremost the turbo here. Uh, so what your turbo does is it pulls exhaust gases out of the exhaust manifold and it uses them along with your regular air out of the filter there see that tube that comes down and goes straight to the turbo there uh, it uses that the exhaust gas and the regular air, exhaust air and the regular air and it spins it around in the turbine in there and it exhausts the rest out through that hose right there in the back that you see right there in the back uh, and then this turbine here it just spins it and then spits it out and sends it up this tube right here and then it's going to go up over the top of the motor here and then here on the other side of the motor it goes into your after cooler right there comes all the way across the motor into your after cooler goes through the after cooler which you can't see from here but it's like a radiator type thing on the opposite on the front side of the radiator and then it goes through that and it comes out right there that metal tube right there comes out and goes straight into the intake all right so first and foremost there we have the turbo cooler all right uh, next I just want to talk to you a little bit about there is your fuel pump right there that's all your fuel pump skier driven fuel pump a fuel filter which obviously it pulls the fuel out of the tank spits it through the filter and then from the filter to your injectors uh, and then here you have a your gearbox which is from your power steering uh, which is the power steering pump you cannot I don't know if you can see it yeah is right there the power steering pump is also gear driven and what it does is it pulls power steering fluid out of your reservoir right here into the pump gets it going and then pressurizes it into the gearbox here so that you have power steering to the front wheels all right next we're just going to talk about your alternator there all right so right there's your alternator belt driven uh, basically what this does is it keeps your battery maintained and charges your battery when need when it needs to be uh, pretty self-explanatory there with that and then I don't have my flashlight so I can't show you but right back here this bracket right here goes all the way back to your oil cooler and right back there is your fuel filter it's going to be right down in there behind the frame and then on the front of your of this bracket right here is your water pump your water pump is belt driven and your belt uh, your water pump obviously it recirculates the water throughout the engine throughout the radiator uh, and then this little bracket here there's a long tube that goes all the way back to the oil cooler it's got little veins in it that keeps the oil the oil flows through the through the middle of those veins and it kind of cools down your oil as it's being filtered and everything else and then I just want to talk to you a little bit about uh, I'm going over here on the other side real quick and then you'll be uh, be on my way today
right, and that right there is your ECM. That's what controls it all, folks. That that does everything. It tells your engine. You know, it keeps up with the timing. It keeps up with the uh, purges when you got your fuel injectors. They they have to purge, and it keeps up with them. And then you know, temperature, and it just takes everything and puts it together, and, and feeds data to all the other computers to let you know to let your gauges know and let you know and to keep the truck running optimally it just that's that's its job to keep the truck running optimally um, and I think that's all I've got for you today uh, you guys have a great day and hope you enjoyed the video